And uh, from that point on, I could not concentrate in class. I would always wonder how that uh, had happened. I would uh, concentrate for five minutes the rest of the time, just thinking about how I can be a fatherless person now and uh, remembering all the sacrifices that my father was making to make sure that we are fine, uh, providing security for his family because, uh, you know, when a father is there, uh, no one can dare uh, touch you. So I was wondering how life would be. So the entire year, um, I was just thinking about how life would be. I did not really receive any, uh, the necessary support that I needed because I was really uh, having a low self-esteem. I knew that I'm already a failure in life. I, I was ready to have a D plus if I pass in KCSC. That was in Form 1 because uh, when we report uh, to high school, always the first term is when we shine with S, but I got a C plus. Yet I was the second person in this class uh, when you look at the KCP marks. So um, I remember I even did some exams without knowing that they ever existed in the syllabus. I remember business studies, though it became one of my most favorite subjects later. Uh, I did business studies without knowing that it ever existed. When I saw the questions, uh, I remember that there is a teacher who has been saying something like this in this class. So that is how tough it was. Uh, when uh, uh, coming to Form 2 uh, in 2013, I was on sponsorship. My f a friend of mine was sponsoring my high school education. Uh, is uh, called Father Roberto uh, Sibilia. He was a very good friend of mine. Uh, he's still a very good friend of mine, a father to me. Uh, because we had a number of other students that were struggling with fees, and any time we could uh, think of supporting another person, we could discuss between ourselves. Uh, so we discussed, I discussed with uh, Father Roberto that I can transition from Baragui Boys to Baragui Day School so that we can accommodate more people uh, because most of us were struggling with the uh, fees and uh, it was a very good idea to just bring everybody on board so that everybody can access education and uh, that is how I, ca I came from Baragui Boys to Baragui Day School uh, a school that was just starting uh, it had started a year ago in 2012 now it's in 2013 form 2 is the pioneer class so uh, in this school, there were no teachers. Uh, I remember we, we had no, we, all, we had the principal, uh, the deputy principal and some few teachers who could multitask, do a number of subjects. We didn't even have a cook. We were the cooks ourselves. Uh, we could go on shifts. Today, uh, you are the ones cooking and uh, that is how we came up with a, a school motto, uh, let us strive together. Even if it is the school principal that has passed by and uh, found that the fire is dimming off, he can do something to make sure that we have food uh, at lunchtime. So it was a very collaborative environment. Uh, though we didn't have much, uh, by this time I was now able to focus on my studies. I had a little bit recovered. Uh, that is when, for the first time, I got a B in, uh, in exams and uh, I was performing uh, pretty well. I came back to my feet uh, and uh, in, uh, uh, throughout the, uh, the journey in Baragui Day School, there were a couple of challenges. Uh, the main challenge in Baragui Boys was lack of water. We, did, we were not showering <laughs> more often. So that is why we were called, uh, we were given a name uh, called Ngorokos, the guys that don't shower. Because we did not, we did not have water. We could have a cup of water uh, after, the, after dinner, you have a cup of water, one for one person. 
uh, so there was no much water. And in Baragui Day School, at least we were showering because we were coming from home, uh, but we did not have food 